Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to Guns N' Roses Central, and I want to do a follow-up story to something I reported about earlier this week, so I don't know if you guys have been watching the news, but uh, Guns N' Roses' current bassist Duff McKagan has actually listed one of his homes for sale, so this is a home that's actually located in the Sherman Oaks neighborhood of Los Angeles. Uh, he's got several homes, and this one he actually bought back in 2005 for $2.975 million, at least according to public records. Uh, he's now listed the home for $3.85 million. So the actual home has a stable that was transformed into a gym. It's got a one-bedroom guest house uh, where Duff has written and recorded songs and an underground wine cellar that's mainly used to store musical equipment due to Duff's sobriety. So I wanted to show you guys some photos of the house and talk a bit about some of the other Guns N' Roses members who have listed their homes in the recent uh, months or even years. So uh, these are some photos that uh, appeared on Alternative Nation. So it's like a Spanish-style home that uh, that Duff has. Uh, he's actually got a couple other homes. He's got a home in Seattle, and I think he just bought a new home a couple blocks or in the same area as this one that he's actually listed. And I got to say, it's actually a really nice house. You know, every time we see rock star homes, I'm always skeptical, and I'm not a huge fan of them. But uh, this one's probably one that if I had the money, I wouldn't mind taking a look at. And um, if you guys remember in the news about a year, less than a year ago, Slash had listed his house, now, Slash's house in L.A. was way more expensive than Duff's, and it was also much bigger as well. It was the home that he shared with his second wife, Perla, and he actually had trouble selling that. I think the original asking price was $11 million, and these are now some photos of Slash's house that he had listed. I haven't heard any news as to whether it's sold or not, but I just want to share these uh, photos with you guys. So, Slash's home actually features six bedrooms, eight bathrooms, a swimming pool with an outdoor bar, a skate ramp, and a large kitchen with double islands. The master bedroom also includes a walk-in closet as well as paneled walls that double as storage space. Now the lower level features a nightclub complete with DJ booth, uh, LED lights, a pole dancing pole, and photo booth. And of course, because it's Slash, it also features a professional recording studio with a vocal booth as well as a screening theater and a wine cellar. And uh, what's more is that the furnishings and decor have been customized to reflect the rock and roll couple's lifestyle. Among the highlights include a living room with a lined alligator print wallpaper, white skulls, and crossbones. And uh, the actual home is uh, pretty close to a number of celebrities, including Christina Aguilera, Paris Hilton, Vanna White, and Robbie Williams. And uh, the pair actually bought the mansion in, for $7.3 million in 2009 and spent six months renovating and customizing it. That does it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Which house do you guys personally like better? Comment in the section below and let me know. And be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the contents of this video. And be sure to subscribe if you love Guns N' Roses as much as me. And you can always follow me on social media. The links to my social media accounts are down below in the description box. Take care.